I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 605. Today was a really good day in the world of gadget news. Nikon officially announced a couple of rumored cameras. The D300S is a new DSLR that shoots 720p video at 24 frames per second. And yes, it has that one little thing I require, an external mic input. The body sells for about $1,000 less than the Canon 5D Mark II and does something while shooting video that the Canon won't autofocus. For still images, the D300S offers a 12.3 megapixel DX format CMOS sensor and 51 point autofocus. Another nice little thing it offers is dual card slots that allow you to record stills and video to one compact flash card and one SD card. I don't know if it'll allow you to record to both cards at the same time or if you can just choose between the two. The D300S will start shipping by the end of August. The D3000 is more of an entry level DSLR. It'll also be available by the end of August for $600. It shoots 10.2 megapixel stills and it has a guide mode to help new DSLR shooters. There's some retouching software built into the camera so you can make some adjustments to photos before you ever move them from the camera to a computer. The D3000 has an 11 point autofocus system. Shutter response time is about half a second. It doesn't shoot video, but the built in retouching software will stitch still photos together and turn them into a stop motion movie. That's pretty cool. The ISO range is from 100 to 1600. Something else that moved from credible rumor to official today the LG BL40 chocolate smartphone. It's the luxuriously wide touchscreen smartphone, and we have some specs straight from Korea. They call the display high definition, but it's 800 by 345 and 4 inches wide. Like we said before, the aspect ratio is 21 to 9. Imagine watching a 70 millimeter film on that. By going slimmer and longer than other touchscreen phones, I would imagine the LG BL40 will be much less of a slippery brick. It'll be available in 54 countries starting in the third quarter. I'm a little angry at Apple right now because of their decision to remove GB Mobile from the App Store, but they released a 2 terabyte time capsule today, so I'll mention it. The 1 terabyte version is still available. The price is $4.99 for the 2 terabyte version and $2.99 for the 1 terabyte version. I think my favorite product announcement of the day is a couple of XY stereo mics for recording to either a Walkman or an iPod. The new iPhone voice recorder app is excellent and I would assume this would make it better. Frequency response is 20 hertz to 16 kilohertz. Positioning mics in the XY pattern yields a stereo recording with more depth that's closer to what your ears hear. There's also a line in jack and a USB port for charging. Wind screens are included to block wind noise when recording outside. One more and it's really cool. If you participated in the invitation only Windows 7 technical beta program, you are now eligible for a free final copy of Windows 7 Ultimate. There's a post in the dot beta underscore program news group that has all the details. That's it for now. This brief was brought to you by Angie'sList.com. Service providers who fail to respond to Angie's List member complaints are put in the penalty box. That hurts that service provider's business and those companies that care about their reputation usually resolve the problem so they can get out of the penalty box. If you want that kind of protection, you can join Angie'sList.com using promo code GEEK to save 25%. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye!